Hello everybody, welcome to the, back to the, back to the channel, what am I saying? Uh, my name is Fleza, and yeah, so because I'm not able to do the stream today, here's the video that's going to be today. We're replaying Cabin of Fever, uh, going through the story to get the good ending. Uh, so we may skip a little bit here and there, uh, if it gets a little bit slow. But we want to get the whole experience too. So let's, without any further ado, let's go ahead. We're gonna start from a brand new game. I have a walkthrough here just in case I get lost here. Um, it's important. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, we need to put our name in. Um, of course, we do. There we go. Boom. Confirm. I don't remember much about the world before the sickness. The sickness. Gee. I was just a kid when it started. Too young to fully grasp all the changes happening across the globe. Looking back, it was as though some cosmic clearance bin of trashy dystopian paperbacks was spilling plot points out onto reality. You had your unknown virus, your slow-to-act world leaders, your extremists, deniers on one end, doomsday preppers on the other, and overall just a heck of a lot of scandal and angst. What it boiled down to was this. Stay away from each other. Stay away. Yep, that simple. Stay away. Because the sickness mutated so rapidly, spread so easily, and killed so many, that preventing transmission was the only way to stop it from wiping out the human race. A cure could be developed, they told us. Would be developed, they promised. Mm. Somehow. Someday. Someday. Life changed. Everything from school and work to medical appointments and family dinners became virtual. And as it turns out, hosting an online society requires a lot of computer programming. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot. A lot. Oh. Lucky for me, I'd always had a knack for stuff like that. It was easy to get trained and even easier to find work. When's the last time you heard a young person say that, huh? I did programming for medical services, government websites, automated manufacturing. There was no shortage of freelance contracts. Of course, places like movie theaters, shopping malls, and restaurants died out. Even farms and factories became rare. So much of the workforce lost. But to be honest, I personally thought all of it was a net gain for the planet. Mm. Fewer people meant less pollution. War and terrorism dropped to an all-time low. Most people learned to be at least somewhat self-sufficient. As for me? Well... Since my parents both died not long after my high school graduation, I was probably more self-sufficient than most. More than most. I was alone for a long time. Long enough to be used to it. No. At least I was healthy. I had my routine. With lots of work to keep me busy and the internet at my fingertips to keep me from getting bored. What more could I have wanted? Mm -hmm. I lived in enough grid. a family I've had for years, was young. But every time I say that word, someone tells me, blah blah blah. Sigma Sorry, Kevin came place to survive, had everything a small family could need. By this time, I was the sole member of my bubble, used to taking care of myself. Not a good day, sunshine, usually, blah 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 blah. Keep the battery bank full, and since the cabin sat near the mountains, I'd often get a decent power level at night to wind through rain catching air off the ridge. But that night, that night it was raining hard. Browsing for news, the news was mostly doom and gloom, but I always find the odd tech or space related article. <clears throat> when email alert. Got another forward from one of the gullible co-workers. Death dealing virus. Bovine bodily function. Bullshit. Mm. 
language. Literally. <laughs> Good one. Nobody laughed. Oops. Clean set the clock, time for tea, put the computer to sleep, head back to the kitchen. A broomstick. No! Oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow! Oh. Why is that even there? I never sweep. Well, well, basically, what was the point of cleaning up? No company. Kitchen, herbal tea, toast tea bang, combo's been doing it. Busy. I had to take it out soon as he had his tumbler with the rest of my food, scraps, and plant waste. Then, probably in the spring, fresh can of the garden, plants help the nutrient boost, love plants, blah blah blah. Smirking to myself. Only sound is a muffled rush of the rain outside, so peaceful. Uh, except for a scream. What was that? Listening hard. I don't have to go out there and check, do I? So it says I should make a save here, just so we can make sure that we get all the uh, routes. I mean, someone could in be in trouble. But, but we're going again, for the good end. Someone could be trouble. Maybe just stand on the porch and yell for whoever it is to get off the lawn. Get off my lawn! Uh, so, we want to do the good ending. Obviously, uh, we should go outside and investigate the noise. Warm and dry. I was raised by humanitarian hippies, and all I got was this pesky conscience. Kidding. Yeah. Love you, Mom and Dad. Please don't haunt me. Flashlight, boots. Hopefully, probably, I wouldn't find anything. Checking was the right thing to do. The porch. Uh, all I needed is hands, which I have. A chill. Yo, anybody out here? No? Cool. Have a good night then. Hello? I'm here. Would you mind, um, helping me out of this, please? I... You know, I was thinking about this. Like, if... It sure is cold out. I'm definitely not shaking out of fear. Because that would be super lame. Mm-hmm. A hundred questions. Where did she come from? How long has she been out in the storm? Why wasn't she dressed? Was she lost? Is she sick? You, you there! What are you doing on my property? Please, I got lost and I promise I wasn't trying to steal anything. Uh-huh. Well, then explain yourself! Why are you just laying on the ground there? Seems pretty sus. Uh oh, among us. I can't get up. Uh huh. <clears throat> Could still be a trick. My flashlight was starting to lose his brightness. But the light was coming back. Yeah, I, I was thinking about this, this particular moment here. I feel like there's no way she'd be this calm. Like, the pain was probably... Oh my god! Are you okay? Ridiculous. Because those are not small spikes. She needs a tetanus shot. You know. 
something. That is probably lucky -ish. maybe we didn't hit an artery on her either. afraid I'd be trapped in that thing all night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How long had it been since, uh, yeah, she Sorry, came. is it okay that I'm touching you like this? Um, it's fine. Let's just get out of this rain. Yes, come into my house. Uh, where did I put that kit? Before anything else, let me scan your temp. Good beep. No fever. That's a relief. Some pretty deep gashes. Like, it may not be like really, really Are you deep, a doctor? but it's bad. Do you honestly think I look like a. No doctor. Uh, well, yeah. I'm not sure what a doctor looks like, but you seem to know what you're doing, and you're a very kind person. So I believe you if you told me you were a doctor. Mm hmm. It's just basic first aid. Not a big deal. Here, hold this. Put pressure on it while I wrap it up. <clears throat> that should be okay overnight, but we should probably clean it again and rewrap it tomorrow. And you're going to let me stay here? Huh? You said clean it again tomorrow, right? I did. Okay. Uh, maybe it's okay if she stays. Well, it's not like I'm going to just send you back out into the rain. Not by yourself, anyway. Is there anyone else in your bubble? Anyone I can call to come get you, or... No. Mm. Uh -huh. Okay, you can stay. well, you can sleep on my couch tonight. We'll figure the rest out tomorrow. We should really stay at least six feet apart, though. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Brought a stranger in, no idea who she is, where she came from, blah 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 Damn. blah blah. I like these pants. Like these pants. Oh no, did you get hurt too? No. no, it's just a rip. Oh, that's not so bad. Wow, it already feels so much better. You must have a magical healing touch. Mm, no. You need to take that dress off. Um, that came out wrong. Uh, what I mean is, it's wet and cold, and I'm sure you'd feel better if you changed into something dry and warm. I'm sure I have some extra clothes you can wear. Really? Yeah, sure. Here, take whatever you want. They're all clean. That's so, so nice of you. I'll get changed now. Mm -hmm. Swam on her right. She was swimming in it. I haven't felt this comfy since I don't know when. 
It's a school shirt, right? I always liked the look of school uniforms, but I never got to wear one. All my classes were online. How old are you? 21. My birthday was actually last week. Right. Oh, well, happy belated birthday. Do you have, have a, name? a name? No, of course I do. It's Mallory. Mm. Nice to meet you, Mallory. Well, not nice exactly. Weird to meet you, I guess. Uh, I'm not used to people. Of course I'm not used to people. Uh, yeah, I get it. I didn't mean to trespass onto your property. I really did get lost. And then the rain started, and I could hear these dogs or something howling. I was scared, and I ran towards the first light I saw. There were things like wolves and coyotes in the area, yes. But what were you doing out there in the first place? I would rather not talk about that. Why the secret thing? Should I press for more? Uh, no. We don't press her for more right now. My toe was hurting where I'd stubbed Don't worry it. about it. You're here now, so just take the opportunity to get some rest. This is perfect. Thank you so, so much for everything. Truly, I'm lucky to have met you. Yeah, just... Try not to touch anything, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm going to bed. Bye. I hope you have sweet dreams. I'll see you in the morning. Mm hmm. I've been so careful for such a I didn't know where she'd been, or she was as careful as I was. Good night. Like, I really like this cabin. I really like the impression that this cabin kind of gives. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Chapter. Wait, we're already on chapter three. Okay, well. Has it been tense on? <clears throat> yes. Wrong side, woke up on the wrong side of bed. Oh. The smoke alarm started shrieking. There was someone, and I let her in. Something burning. Uh, thank you. I'm really so sorry. I tried wafting a dish towel at it, but the alarm just wouldn't stop. I didn't wake you, did I? Oh. Yes, you did. What is that? Um. Oh, I thought I'd make you breakfast as a thank you. My mom used to have the best recipe for potato pancakes that would always fuel me for the day. But these... Well, I'm not totally sure what happened. I never used a stove like yours before, so this batch got a little... overdone. Maybe I can scrape off the burnt part. Hmm. Mm. You know what? Forget I said that. It's all burnt part. I'll just clean up my mess and then I'll make you a new batch. And I will definitely be more careful this time. Hang on, did you say potato pancakes? Mm-hmm, they're the best. It's too bad this first batch didn't turn out because I spent all morning digging up the potatoes, washing them, peeling them. They were so tiny it took extra long. And I was worried you'd wake up before I could finish. Luckily, I've got some other treats on the go as well, so you're not going to starve. Just let me turn on the toaster real quick. Wait, stop! 
Overloaded the solar panels. Why did you do that? Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. I just wanted to make you some breakfast. I didn't mean to cause so much trouble. I'll clean this up. Supposed to answer that. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um. Not really that big of a deal. But it wasn't like she'd intentionally ruined my potatoes. Long before they were ready. I'm just not a breakfast person. I'm really sorry. I just wanted to do something nice as a thank you for letting me stay here. I promise I'll fix everything and then I'll just get ready to leave. Sure. Whatever. Mm, Rick some boots. I'll be out in the yard for a while. Did I get myself into? Indeed, what did I get myself For into? Real, I can't believe. <clears throat> into the garden, deep breath, cold air, autumn bite. <clears throat> ah well, she'll be gone soon anyway. <laughs> soon. Check, check. have been painful. Uh, okay. We need to make a save here. And then we need to move the trap. Maybe next time I'll catch something less likely to ruin my day. Okay, that was a bit harsh. She didn't mean to ruin my day. Yeah, she didn't mean a to. A rabbit would be good, though. Right time of year for garlic. No brooms, no garbage. Everything looks so clean. Whoa, this is really nice. Like, really, really nice. Uh -huh. Where was she? Uh oh. She couldn't. She wouldn't. What are you doing? I was just taking a bath. That's my water supply. It it's still warm if you want to use it. That's my water supply. My fresh water, my drinking water, my my everything water. What were you thinking? Why did you use so much? You so much. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. I had no idea. I'm so sorry. I really didn't know. 
But that was because I'd always been so careful. This could be the very day I so deeply feared. How do you would... survive this way? It's like you're constantly wasting things. Is this why you were out in the rain last night? Did your bubble decide to kick you out because you don't know how to think before you act? Uh. Just finish up in here. And don't drain that water, okay? I'll repurpose it for laundry or something. The situation wasn't as dire. Still, I sat at my computer for a long time. I would focus on my work. <sighs> okay. We. Ask her what she's up to. What are you doing with those clothes? Oh, I was just going to go through them and sort out what's good to wear. I hope that's okay. Right. You're welcome to take anything that doesn't fit me anymore. I'm sure you could use some warmer things to wear out there on your travels. You already told her she's not welcome. Oh boy. I really am kind of a butthole in this story. You're finished working. That's perfect because supper is ready. Um, what is all this? It's all made from freeze-dried proteins and grains I found in the pantry. And some spices, which by the way make all the difference when it comes to flavoring a dish. Oh, and mm. I only used things that were already open, so I hope I didn't overstep again. I can tell you worked really hard. And I know I made a mess of things, and I just really wanted to make it up to you. I'm determined to have a net positive impact here. Uh -huh. Well, this does look incredible. And by the smell of it, I'm pretty sure I'll be licking these plates clean. Er, you did wash your hands before you started. Right? Yes. Yeah, silly. And I still don't have any symptoms of any sicknesses either. So come on, let's eat. I want you to enjoy it while it's hot. Mm hmm. The food is delicious. <clears throat> How's your leg feeling? How is it's your leg? Not too bad. Why I should probably still take a look at it towel. after supper. Clean it up and put a fresh bandage on it. Why and are you then, still... I suppose we should talk about getting you home? Uh, right. Home. I mean, I don't know if you have a family or a group or whatever. Or if you're on your own like me. But you don't exactly look like you... Um, Live in the forest. I live in the forest. So where are you <laughs> headed? Surely there must be someone somewhere. Someone I hope somewhere. You something out. Hang on, no. I want to make sure you're going to be okay. I thought you just wanted me to leave. Ideally, I do. I'd like to know at least something about your situation. Maybe I could help you. 
That's sweet of you, but... I'm sorry. I'm just not ready to talk about it. Okay. Fine. Can I just ask one more question? It's as if she's a Why digital are you painting. still wearing that towel? What? You mean I've been wearing this the whole time? Yes. Oh, I can't believe it. How do I forget these things? Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Space head, airhead. I'll be back to clean up as soon as I'm decent. I only wanted to help. She had nowhere to go. No. Who oh, no. Oh, you already cleaned up. I guess that's it then. You should stay. Also, I'm sorry. I've been a total asshat to you. Yes, I have. It was kind of a shock to have you show up here. I haven't had anyone visit, ever. Because this has always been my space, my family's space. I guess I felt sort of invaded. Mm -hmm. But now I realize that's stupid. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, I wouldn't feel right making you leave when you're clearly in a bad spot. I have the means to help you, and there's no reason why I shouldn't. If you want to leave, that's fine, but there's no rush. Cool? Cool. Cool. Can I redress your leg now? <laughs> Rub my hands. Gloves. First aid kit. Set up on the couch. Better good night. Fingers better leave things. Angry. Moody Hermit. Okay, we completed chapter three already. Chapter four. I wonder if she'd like to learn about the systems I have for off-grid living. Like conserving water. She might actually enjoy being involved with the work I did on the daily. Maybe we could share the load. Sam and Frodo. Maybe something to bring up the mind-numbing monotony. I could be an okay teacher. C sharp. Snuck into the kitchen. Your pot is boiling. Oh, you surprised me. Good morning. How did you sleep? She moved back and said, Trace for the race. Off the heat, piece of skin, gave me a good toss. I slept okay. How about you? Uh -huh. Great. Your couch is super comfy, and that blanket is so cozy and warm. Good. Huh. I'm glad. Did you need something from up there? Uh... <laughs> yes, please. 
I was looking for aspirin and I thought I saw a bottle up there, but I couldn't really reach. I didn't want to risk standing up on a chair or something with my leg. Is it getting more painful? I did notice a little redness yesterday, but I didn't think it was infected. Unless... wait, you're not feeling sick, are you? No, no, it's just the leg. It's a bit achy. Knowing how this kind of can play out in the future, I know it's not just her leg, but... Which is kind of awkward. Thank you so much. You're the best. <clears throat> Maybe it's time for another temperature check, just to be sure. Could you, um, move your hair? A few moments. It's heavy sound. Okay, you're good. But we should keep distancing until enough time has passed to know for sure. Uh-huh. How's this for a second attempt at breakfast? Second breakfast? You seem to have learned how to use the stove properly. I'm a big nerd. Really, this is amazing, and I don't deserve it. Just like the previous night. Looks like we'll have great weather today. I was thinking of doing some work in the garden for a while. A place like this needs a lot of maintenance. Ten acres of green space, all the off-grid systems. It's a constant running to-do list to keep everything going. Would you like to come? pretty amazing. Is it hard to take care of it all by yourself? It can be hard work, but it's worth it. Well, what can I do to help? Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Ask her to join you in the garden. Okay. I suppose you could join me if you'd like. Some fresh air might help you feel rejuvenated, speed up your healing. I could show you a little bit about my setup too. Introduce you to the hens. Mm -hmm. You have hens? Like little chickens that actually run around going cluck cluck? For real? For, for cluck cluck for real. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I have fish too. You want to meet them? Fish. Yes, I do. I really do. Okay, let's head outside then. Uh huh. What about insisting? We headed outside. Sun is warm, not much to do, not much wind. Blah blah blah. Except oh for this. Oh my gosh! Are these strawberries? so plump and juicy and they're so red how did you grow them they're actually the easiest thing to maintain around here they grow like weeds pretty much every year I get three whole harvests out of this patch really what do you do with all of them I make my own jams put them in salads make smoothies things like that I dehydrate some for easy snacking too but I think they're best right off the bush you're welcome to have some. How did she I've do never that? eaten a strawberry before. Are you sure? Never? Jeez. 
Yeah, help yourself. Just put your index finger and thumb right behind the stem and pinch it off. Watch out for slugs. Mm. Oh, wow, these taste just like sunshine. I could eat these every day. Feast away. one shaped like a heart. Oh, this one here is huge. Look how shiny and red it is. It's like something out of a picture book. Oh, mm -hmm. there's a little bug munching on that one. Enjoy your meal, little bug. <laughs> Following menus? Can I do that? Oh, no, that's okay. You need to go easy on your leg. My leg feels fine. Please? All right, here you go. I should take care of the rain, pulling up weeds. So she'd finish her little brain and make the rain. Doo -doo 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 pulling up weeds. Mm hmm. A cartoon princess. <laughs> For one, I definitely wouldn't have had to pick up a ring. If anything, I was uh, cash playing video games until he so I guess I felt. Is there Mallory was? Oh, wait, am I still looking at her? Looking good. Work. Good work, I mean. Let's move all this stuff into the compost bin. Okay, what's that? It's this. Basically, I put all the dead plant matter and vegetable waste I have into the tumbler. Since it's a sealed container, it traps lots of heat inside and helps the stuff break down. See the handle on the side? I use that to turn the tumbler so everything gets mixed together. Then, once it's all broken down, I mix it in with the garden soil. The compost gives the soil extra nutrients, which helps the plants grow. It's kind of like the circle of life. I save all the peels and ends from the produce I eat, turn them into compost, and use that to grow more stuff. So the garden really provides its own nutrients for the next crop of plants that grow there. Mm. Wow, that's amazing. Honestly, everyone should be doing this. It's a big part of reducing waste. It's like a big, friendly leaf monster. Nom nom nom. Sure. <laughs> Are you feeling sick? No, <clears throat> sorry. It's just my throat is dry. I'm really thirsty. Thirsty. I'll go get us some water. Have some water. Shouldn't be letting my guard down, oh gosh. Those. They look like shields for your house. Oh, sort of. They're solar panels. And they look like they could use a sweep, actually. Why? What are they for? They absorb energy from the sun and turn it into power for the cabin. What? Really? Um, here. Face toward the sun and spread your arms out.
feel the warmth? That's energy from the sun, or as I like to call it, the nuclear furnace that sits in the sky, 150 million kilometers away from us. The solar panels take that energy and convert it into electricity. That current makes its way down to a charge controller, which turns the current into voltage for the batteries. My computer, appliances, and lights are all modified to run off that DC voltage. Oh, and the charge controller is hooked up to a battery that can store all that incoming energy. So we can still run the power for a while, even when the yeah, sun has gone away. Great batteries, then, because those don't exist. So you capture the sunshine and turn it into energy? Isn't that like what flowers do? Yeah, that's one way of thinking about it. Cool. like magic if we'd had something like this where I grew up then the citywide power outages wouldn't have mattered so much oh boy give me a few minutes to sweep the leaves off the roof then we can go say hi to the hens oh okay they're over there just FYI in case I happen to fall to my death or something what don't worry. If that happens, you can just bury me in the garden. My corpse will give lots of nutrients to the soil. <laughs> Don't kid around like that. It's not funny. Of course sorry, it's funny. Sorry, sorry. I'll be back in a few. You rest. That was where she'd come from. The public buildings would be closing down indefinitely. Sports stadium and movie theaters, malls, offices, even apartment complexes and private homes had changed. People were moving to shuffle around with fences when up to chair space became inaccessible. Blah, blah, blah. And <clears throat> Looking at it now, I never desire to ever set foot in there again. Going down from the roof, better in the garden, force a smile. Ready? For a moment, I can even tell I saw a spring in her step. The chickens. For as long as they've been alive, I've been alone. So they're either happy for me or scared of you. Not sure. Then she saw the chicks. Babies! She Did I not mention that? Yeah, they hatched a few days ago. You can pick them up if you want. They're so cute! Are you sure I can touch them? It looks like they'll break, they're so tiny. Just be careful with them, of course. They'll be okay. Just gently scoop them up into your hands. Okay. Did the chicks. Beep, 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 beep. They're so soft. I love them. Oh, uh, sorry about the smell, by the way. I'm used to it, so I guess I forget that coops can get pretty smelly. I don't find it bad at all. Whole scene was too Do you precious. want to feed them? There's a bag of grain just behind you. <laughs> They're so happy. I try to give them a good life. Even if it's only a short one. Huh? Well, would... What do you mean? Oh. Uh. Hmm. 
Okay, answer honestly. Well, some of these chicks will grow up into egg layers, so that we can eat things like that amazing omelet you made this morning. And others will be butchered for meat. Uh -huh. You take care of them from the time they're little babies like this, and then you kill them? It's not like I want to. It's just how it goes. I need to eat, and I can't exactly go pick up meat from the grocery store. Uh huh. Mallory? I understand. I guess I just never thought about it before. It makes me a little sad. I'll be okay though. Thank you for bringing me to meet them. Uh huh. Shall we head back inside? Unhappy tension. So, there was one more thing I really wanted to show you today. It's the most intricate and nerdy of all my systems, and by far my favorite. Remember when I said I have fish? Well, it's a bit more complicated than that. The fish are actually part of a system I use to grow plants and food indoors. That way I can have at least some fresh things to eat in winter. Oh? It's what called aquaponics, and it's really freaking cool. Come on, I'll show you. Okay. Easy to miss. Why is it so dark in here? I know. The purple light is kind of strange. It's because those are grow lights. Their wavelength mimics the sun and gives the plants the specific red and blue light they need. It's a way of tricking them into thinking they're outdoors. Not that plants can think. Mm-hmm. Wasn't something favorite place, caring for the plants and the fish, blah blah blah. This is amazing. Of course Told it you. is. I know, but I wasn't expecting so many plants. You have you have so much food. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why are there plants growing out of the tank water? Technically, they're not. They have their own water. It's just been cycled through the fish tank as well. That's how they get nutrients. It's, cycled it's the like the circle of life, kind of. I feed the fish and they produce waste, which contains ammonium. That gets converted to nitrites and then into nitrates, which the plants can use to grow. These tubes carry the tank water up through a filter. The filter traps all the bits of waste and gunk that won't help the plants and lets the now nutrient-rich water run through and into the plant pots. It's all a careful balance, everything working in harmony. If I feed the fish and keep the filters clean, then they're able to take care of my plants for me. Here, feed them. Just take a bit and sprinkle it in. Sprinkle, sprinkle. They're really hungry. And looking at them feels peaceful. Yeah. Who taught you all of this? Oh. Um... Well, my parents used to take care of their plants sort of like this when I was young. And then I taught myself a bunch more by reading, or 
by trial and error. My family had nothing like this. There was one grocery store in our neighborhood. We'd have to wait in line for ages, and then the shelves would be practically empty. We had to scrounge and make do with food that was either spoiled or just plain <clears throat> not enough. All these not systems enough. you use. If we could have had something like this, then maybe... She was opening up. I love that you wanted to show me all this stuff. But, um, what do you do for fun around here? Fun? Yeah, yeah, I know. All work and no play. Yada yada. How about this? Let's go make some tea, get something to eat, and I'll show you my video games. I used to hold the record for fastest speedrun of this game, you know. <laughs> you did not. There's no such thing as a speedrun of a clicker game. And if there was, that record would be held by a bot. Bot. Okay, so we completed chapter four. Okay. And the house smelled amazing, stomach clench, unclench, never lose it. Got out of bed, got dressed, made my way down the he staircase. Chairs protected, the blankets were neatly folded. Morning, sleepyhead. Your breakfast is waiting. Good morning to you too. First things first, though. It isn't much, but I thought it would be good to have a high calorie meal since we both worked so hard yesterday. Didn't know when she mean yesterday. Oh gosh. I did use the last of the eggs in your fridge to make this. I hope that's okay. I went out to check the coop for more, but there were none. Mm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it takes them a day or two, but we'll have more eggs soon. More soon. So I can clean and rewrap her leg. So I guess I worked you too hard yesterday, huh? What makes you say that? You fell asleep, fell asleep at like seven o'clock last night. It's okay. You learned a lot yesterday, and learning is hard work. I probably went a little overboard with the teaching. No, oh, but I enjoyed it so much. Mm, you did, huh?
quite a bunch more cures. Read the spam just for fun. Hey Mallory, have you heard about this one weird trick for removing viral toxins? Removing them from where? It doesn't actually say, but there's a grainy picture of someone laying what looks like lasagna noodles across their stomach. So I'm assuming it's nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't believe how many of these I get. They're so stupid. Partly cloudy this morning, with a chance of scattered showers throughout the afternoon and overnight. Okay. And it looks like tomorrow's gonna be rainy all day. <clears throat> Maybe there'll be enough water for a luxurious bath after all. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I should probably do a few things outside, though. Get the basic chores done before the weather turns. Hmm. Why was she so insistent on How Teresa? about you just keep me company this time? Oh, all right. The sun is strong. A chill in the air. A flock of geese. They're flying south to escape the coming cold. They probably have their own tropical paradise somewhere. With their own beach houses where they spend all winter sunbathing and drinking margaritas. Just kidding. Geese don't do that stuff. But wouldn't it be nice to go on a vacation like that? I don't know. I've never been on a vacation. Maybe someday someone will figure out a way to stop the virus. And you'll be able to go somewhere amazing. Not by myself, I hope. No, definitely not by yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's somebody... Looks <clears throat> like she couldn't help herself. That's probably enough hard labor for the day. Let's go in. I need to do some work on my computer. Oh, not just yet. Please. I'd like to enjoy the fresh air a little while longer before the rain comes. Ah, okay. If you're good, then I'm good. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Stay on the alert for spiders. Oh, yes. I've already met a few of them. They're so helpful chasing off all the harmful bugs. Mm hmm. We're sweating pretty soon. Phew, I am hot. I almost want to take my sweater off. <laughs> um. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Better avoid the subject. Lots of dandelions, huh? Nasty weeds. Did you know you can actually eat the leaves? Hmm. I don't know about that. I seem to remember trying to eat one when I was little, and it was disgusting. They're only good when the leaves are young. Once they get too old, they turn bitter. Like me. <laughs> like me. Uh, sorry. My tummy must be hungry after all that work. Mine is too. And I think I felt a raindrop just now, which is probably our cue to head inside. Do you want to meet me in there? I'll pick some things to make us a strawberry salad. Wow, that sounds so delicious. I'll see you in a bit. A few raindrops help quickly hurry back inside. By the time we finished eating lunch, the gray clouds had fully taken over the sky and rain 
Well, if we get Falling. as much rain as the forecast predicts, the rain barrels sure will be happy. Those are the big containers on the side of the house? Yeah. Yes. You're getting good at this. It's probably the number one most important system I have here. The water those four barrels can hold can last a long time, as long as I'm careful with it. No luxurious baths. No water balloon fights either, I'm guessing. Just basic cleaning, cooking, and drinking, right? Jeez, you make me sound like someone who doesn't know how to have fun. Well, You're pretty much right, though. But you can't just drink rainwater. It wouldn't be safe. Oh? The water picks up a lot of things before it makes its way into the barrel. Pollution from the air, chemicals, dirt and bird droppings from the roof. Ew. <laughs> yeah, it's gross. So I add chemicals to the water and filter it to make it clean and safe. I'll have to show you how all that stuff works. Cleaning the water, using the spigots. You're really smart. I like hearing about all the systems you use here. Um. Careful. A boot. Can I make us some tea? Tea. That sounds like a very good idea. Yes, please. <coughs> She's probably just clearing her throat. Honey? Yes, dear? Um. um, I meant honey for your tea? Yep, you did. Uh huh. Salvages. And I was saying, yes, I will have honey for my tea. And then I was very rudely interrupted mid thought by a deer that definitely exists and totally ran past the window. <laughs> that was. Stupid. Picks up her mug. Oh, I just burned my tongue. Uh oh. See, that's why I always let mine cool down for a minute or two. I couldn't do that. It smelled too delicious to wait. Here, this will help. Thank you. You're so sweet. It's the honey talking. So, why would someone as nice as you feel the need to set bear traps right in front of their home? Oh. Boy. Well, I don't know who this nice person is you're talking about, but I can tell you why I have traps set up around my house. It's all because of Lola. Lola. Is that a stalker ex-girlfriend? Do you have to defend your property from a lot of girls? <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. Uh -huh. Lola was my best friend, a beautiful Bernese mountain dog. She was the family pet, really, but me and her, we had a special bond. After my parents passed away, Lola and I took care of each other. She was a hard worker. She was by my side always, finding little ways to help me out. You definitely would have loved her. She had one brown eye and one blue eye, and her heart was made of gold. One fall evening, I was inside working on the computer, and Lola was outside on the deck, just enjoying the cold. Bernie's mountain dogs are, as the name implies, mountain dogs, and they're made to be out in the snow. She loved snow. The deeper, the better. But it hadn't snowed yet that year. Mm -hmm. 
Lola started barking, and I ignored her. Because she was always barking at squirrels and birds and things, thinking she was protecting our territory. <laughs> what a silly dog. But this time, it wasn't a squirrel or a bird. I actually don't even know for sure what it was. But the tracks I found later looked like they might have come from a grizzly. When I realized how urgent her barking was, I ran outside, but she was already gone. That eerie silence is something I'll never forget. I searched for her all night and all the next day. I never found her. Just tracks and some blood and fur. I don't know if a bear grabbed her and took her or if she went chasing after it or what. I just know I've never been so angry in my whole life. I was already dealing with the pain of losing my parents, and now Lola was gone too. After that, I pulled out all my family's old traps from the shed and set them up around the house. It was too little too late, but I needed to feel like I was doing something. It never occurred to me that a human might get hurt in one, and I'm really, really sorry that you did. at all for what happened to my leg. I was the one who trespassed in the dead of night. Yeah, that's Poor true. Lola. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry about Lola. That's a heartbreaking story. Sorry I made you cry. No, no, no. I'm glad you shared that with me. Maybe I okay, should it's your turn. What for? To tell me something about you. Something real. Like maybe what brought you here? What brought me here? Her here. Or if you're not ready to talk about that, then maybe you can tell me something else. Something more light. Please? I hardly know anything about you. What do you want to know? Hmm. Okay, this is where we make another save. And we ask her about her favorite memory. Tell me something about how you grew up. A happy moment or favorite memory? My favorite memory? Building pillow forts with my sister. And playing make-believe that we were airship captains flying through the clouds. We lived at the top of the tallest building on our street, which is probably what inspired our game. I remember we had this old pair of binoculars. They weren't good or anything, but we used to look up at the night sky through them and pretend we were looking into other galaxies. Space is super cool. I approve. <laughs> I always loved the night sky. All the stars and planets and satellites. We actually lived really close to the planetarium, and it was always my dream to go there and see a show. But it got closed down when I was just a baby. My mom would always tell me that someday the planetarium would open again. And I just had to be patient. I guess I never really stopped waiting. <laughs> hey, I think I've been to that planetarium. I would have been really small, so I don't remember a lot, but that's kind of cool, right? But you know, we could totally go stargazing here in the mountains. There's nothing like it. Anyway, I should probably let you get back to work now. <laughs> don't do that! I'm super ticklish! No, are you? I'm sorry, I didn't realize. <laughs> I have an idea. Let me treat you to a special dinner tonight. A 
special dinner. Ooh, and what would that be? I haven't thought that far ahead yet. Give me a minute. Yeah. <clears throat> Not a very good cut. Most decadent helping of popped corn with truffle oil and adult beverages. <laughs> Dinner is popcorn and nondescript alcohol? That sounds fantastic. I'm back. I think this is the right one. You made this truffle oil yourself? Yeah, it's not too hard once you get the hang of it. The first batches I ever made were terrible, though. Lots of trial and error before I landed on the right mix of ingredients and timing. Wow, that's so cool. I think it's incredible that you've learned to do all these things. That's just how it goes when you live on your own. If you'd like, mm -hmm. I can teach you. teach me of course you're a good company and it might be fun to show you how these things work to watch a movie on What sort of movie would you like to watch? Hmm, how about something with action? And romance? Oh, and some comedy too! <laughs> That's a tall order. Let me see what I can find. Let ourselves be absorbed into the movie. It's a strange story about a girl from the moon who fell in love with a human. Blah blah blah. Okay, whatever. <laughs> this cat! I can't believe some of the things he says! <laughs> I haven't laughed like this in so long. <laughs> oh my gosh, my stomach hurts from laughing. for watching with me parts of it were entertaining definitely like that bizarre turtle in a top hat <laughs> that's right and how we saved them from that lizard beast was so insane mm -hmm. I guess I should get off your bed and let you get some sleep oh yeah I guess so thanks for hanging out with me tonight See you in the morning? Definitely. Definitely. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. You too. Get a good night's sleep. Okay, we finished chapter five. <laughs> I was pretty sure it wasn't me. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. Ugh, 
Okay, you leave me no choice. Incoming pets attack. And at this moment, she Ugh. looks like a cat. Worked. So this was my last resort for getting you to wake up. And it did the trick. You're awake now. Yay. What kind of monster just pounces like that on a poor defenseless sleeping person? Monster, you say? Wow, you sure do know how to give a girl a compliment. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't dislike if the situation. If you're jumping about well, like this, does that mean your leg is feeling better? It doesn't hurt as much, but it feels kind of weak. Like it might give out if I put too much weight on it. Mm -hmm. So why did you need me to wake up so urgently? breakfast and I didn't want it to get cold and I was worried you're usually up way earlier than this and maybe I was a little lonely and sort of missed you mm -hmm. damn what's up with me I never sleep this long sometimes your body just needs a little extra rest okay now Fluffy waffles. My mouth is watering. I never knew that was an actual thing that happened to mouths. <laughs> Strawberry waffles from scratch will do that to you. You'll have to tell me once you taste them, but I think I may have outdone myself this time. The only thing I did make from scratch is the syrup. That's okay. I made the syrup from scratch. You did. Wait, you did? Mm -hmm. There are tons of maple trees around here. I harvest their sap at the end of each winter. It's pretty simple. I drill small holes into the trees and insert what's called a spile, which is like a spout. The sap drains out through there and into a bucket. When I have enough to fill a pot, I essentially boil it down until it's mostly evaporated. Then it's syrup. And the best part is, it keeps forever. So I can just store it in glass jars in my pantry. Fairy magic. <clears throat> Coming from the fairy. The real magic is your cooking. This looks incredible. Although, do you mind taking it downstairs so we can eat there? I'd like to get dressed and, well, uh. Oh. Uh, I'll do that now. Sorry. See you downstairs. <clears throat> She said she would do them herself. Not because she was particularly different, but because I created the slightest, like, caved the slightest bit, right? But, like, in a nice way. I guess it's another, guess day, it's another indoors. day indoors. Look how glum that weather is. Yeesh. Also, clouds like this mean we're not getting any solar, so we're relying on what's stored in the battery bank for now. We should limit how much electricity we use today. Okay, I'll be extra careful. Mm hmm
Well, I better make use of this time and get some work done on my computer. Doesn't that use up the electricity? The computer only draws around 250 watts. A couple of hours won't make much of a difference. I could live like this forever. More spam. Okay. Uh, read the spam. Maybe it'll be entertaining. Yes. Wow, more new cures for the virus discovered. This says, miraculous cure found. Dihydrogen monoxide combined with pink sodium chloride will save your life. Click here now to learn. Yeah, no, that link is definitely staying blue. And this other one has more emojis than actual words. <laughs> you never know. One of those headlines might turn out to be true someday. Oh, Mallory, you're such an optimist. An optimist. Some websites are part of my DNAs. Tech news, world news, weather. Seems much better, but it's still good to have things like that on hand. When a headache might strike or a joint might get sprained. I was present with the image of a stunning silver ring in the shape of a bow. Via drone, via, via drone drop within the next few days. Her finger realized she was using a needle and thread, sewing up holes and fastening buttons back where they belong. Are you mending my clothes? Yes. Yes. Those ones are already done, and these ones here are still in progress. I didn't even know you'd been working on this. Well, normally, I work on it before I go to sleep or when I first wake up. I find it sort of meditative. Meditative. You, know, you don't have to do all these things for me. I like keeping busy, and I like being helpful. Really, mm -hmm. you've been so generous and kind taking me in like this. I just want to do everything I can to help you. <sighs> you know, I don't think I'm in the right headspace for work today. Luckily, I don't have any looming deadlines, so maybe I'll take today off? We could just sit and enjoy the fire together. Maybe we could play a board game. A board game? I love games. What do you have in mind? Uh, most of the board games left in the cabin were more than a decade old. Was I used to play with my family. How about chess? Do you know how to play? Chess? Yes. I used to play with my sister sometimes. I'm uh, probably not very good at it. <laughs> That's okay. Neither am I. I'll grab the game. Meet me at the table, okay? Uh-oh. What's wrong? I can't get up. My legs fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least it's only asleep and not caught in a trap this time. White or black? White, please.
Are you missing a piece? It looks that way. I don't mind subbing in a salt shaker or something else to play with. No way. We should play with real pieces. Seriously, I can make you a proper chess piece. And I can make it look however you like. How? Remember the gauze with the cute potato pattern on it? I printed that out with my 3D printer. See? This is just a small one, but it's very useful and quite simple. I just plug in the USB cable to my computer, then use a program to tell the printer what to make. Wow, that's so cool! I'm missing the queen. Can it make that piece? Yes. <laughs> this baby can make anything your heart desires. Ask and you shall receive. Desire a cat. A cat queen? All right, that works. Can I watch? Sure. Hmm, it's like we're something on. out of science fiction. Ooh. It's perfect. Of course it's perfect. I made it for you. <laughs> the first computer would be a world champ, blah blah blah. Where the time just passes. Hey, look! There! The clouds are breaking. Nah! I'm not falling for that! You just want me to turn my back so you can move the. P <laughs> no, seriously! Look, the sun is shining over there. Can we go outside to look at it? Wow. Okay, yeah. Good idea. And I know a perfect viewing spot. A perfect viewing spot. <clears throat> Watch your step. It's still wet and might be slippery. Luckily, the ridges help give traction. What do you think? Pretty good spot to watch the sunset? Yes. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. You in front of the sunset is more beautiful. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, for showing me all of this. All of it. Oh, Excuse me. She was beautiful. It's already over? It happened so quick. Yeah. Yeah, it did. I don't know about you, but I'm freezing. Shall we go back in? I just... I... I never paid attention before. I never cared. Maybe the most beautiful things are beautiful because they're fleeting. You have to appreciate them while they're there. But hey, there'll be another sunset tomorrow. starting to rain again. Come on, let's go in. After you. Uh, okay. We 
give her some space. She didn't ask for it. She didn't she just shuffled towards the ladder. Whoa, Mallory! Be careful! I know I joked about it before, but falling off rooftops is not actually something we want happening. Are you okay? I just got a fright, that's all. I'm okay. Still. Thanks for being my hero again. <laughs> sure. Always happy to help. Always happy to be help. Oh. Uh. Uh, it's so nice in here. I didn't realize how cold I was. To remind her about the jacket I offered. <laughs> how about I heat up something from the freezer? And while we're waiting, we can have tea. It's my turn to make it this time. That sounds nice. Keezing into the goo. The container of stew. Oh my, this is the cutest. I thought you might like it. Into a cat. This tea cup. is super yummy. Where did you get it from? Phew, I was hoping you'd say that. I actually made it myself. If you didn't like it, I probably would have told you it was a free sample that came in the mail or something. <laughs> you really made it? Like you grew it in your fish garden? Yep, harvested the tea leaves mm -hmm. myself, dried them, tested different blends. That's amazing. Who taught you all that? <clears throat> My mom did. She was a doctor, but she always had an affinity for herbal home remedies, too. You know, ginger for an upset stomach, honey for a sore throat, antibiotics for an infection. When I was a kid, mm -hmm. I didn't know there was any difference. All I knew was that whenever I was sick or hurt, my mom would whip out some drink or salve that made everything better. It was like witchcraft. She was really the one who taught me all about plants. How to take care of them, how they can be used. Mm -hmm. Your mother sounds incredible. If she was a doctor, then she probably saved many lives. Yes, she and my father both helped save many people. Mm. They both died helping people. Until the bitter end, they tried to save as many lives as possible. Oh. They left behind a wonderful person, and you should be proud of that fact. I'm sorry that you lost them. Thanks. Thank you. So, is it your turn again? I've told you about my parents and my dog. But you haven't told me anything about your family. Honestly, Mallory, why are you so secretive? Why can't you tell me what you were doing out in the rain that night? I just... I want to know what brought you to me. Mm -hmm. I'm scared to talk about it. Just thinking about it hurts so much. And I'm afraid that if I say it out loud, I won't be able to take the pain. I understand. But if you share it with someone who cares about you, then they'll carry some of that pain too. You won't have to shoulder it alone. That someone is me, by the way. In case it wasn't obvious. Was he of use? I do want you to know me. To know about them. My family. Life was hard. 
But I loved them so, so much. Uh -huh. It was just me, my mom, and my little sister. That was my bubble. We lived in a two-bedroom apartment. We learned to do a lot with the little. Cooking nice meals out of subpar food. Dressing up in old, worn-out clothes. Reenacting our favorite books when we couldn't read because the power was out again and there was no light. Our mom was a factory worker, so she had to go out every day to earn money for us so that we could at least survive. And when she started showing symptoms, they sent her home. She tried to protect us. She stayed in her room, but we still went in, always trying to get her to eat or drink, giving her aspirin to keep down that awful fever. She kept telling us to stop coming in. We called for an ambulance already, but we were still on the waiting list. And what were we supposed to do? Leave her to die alone in her room? Well, she did die. My sister was with her when it happened. But I was out in the kitchen making us all something to eat. I can't even remember what it was. By the time it was our turn for the ambulance to come, it was only to take away a body. My sister and I, we didn't know what to do. How were we going to be able to buy food or pay for electricity? We were at the mercy of companies already struggling to produce anything. Factories in the middle of shutdowns due to waves of sickness. And it just seemed hopeless. But you know, we had learned about people living outside the cities. Smaller communities living off the land instead of trying to survive the old way. We thought, if that was real, maybe we should just leave the city behind. Somehow figure out a way to be like those people. Like you. Uh-huh. Yeah, nobody, not everybody gets to inherit a cabin. <clears throat> About a week after our mom died, my sister gave me some laundry she just finished washing. She asked me to hang it out on the balcony to dry. And while I did that, she locked me outside. I thought it was a prank at first, but she wouldn't let me in, and I got upset. I was banging on the door, yelling at her through the glass to open up. She told me she couldn't because she was sick. She'd started developing symptoms the night before, and she struggled with it all night and all morning. And finally, I begged her to open the door. She refused. She said there was no safe way for us to stay together. Our mother's attempts to protect us hadn't worked. So my sister decided to take drastic action while she could. She locked you out to save you. And we both cried, looking at each other from opposite sides of the glass, while she begged me to go. So, I did. I climbed down the fire escape and just started walking. Wandered along the river and out through the suburbs into the woods. I didn't have anywhere to go, so I just kept on going. Eventually, I was heading up the mountain, totally lost, and that's when I found this place. Mm -hmm. Just fine. I think 
you're right. I think it was fate. Because as much as you needed someone like me, I needed someone like you even more. Mm. Okay. I should check that. Especially considering I left it unattended for so long. It's gone pretty late. I guess we should go to sleep. Are you okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, totally. I just feel a little on edge during storms. That's all. No big deal. It's really, really fine. Okay, well, there's the crank flashlight on the desk over by the door, if you feel like you need some backup light. And you know I'm just upstairs. Good night, Mallory. She's there. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I I lied and I'm not fine. I don't like thunder. I just get so scared. <laughs> in my underwear it's okay it's only noise it'll be over soon she feels my skin i d don't want to sleep alone t tonight okay it's okay to stay with you. Hold back. It's too soon. I decided not to go too afraid of running ruining this. She come to me for safety and comfort. I want to of give course. that to her. Of course you can stay. Get comfortable, okay? Dream. Fell asleep anyway. Chapter 7. Okay. Oh gosh. How much more do we have to go?
Wait, which one is the right number? Oh gosh. I hope I get it right. Okay. Well. Crap. Okay. <clears throat> Chapter 7. There's nothing really important in this section, so I think we'll probably just skip over this one. Apparently. Good morning. Okay, let's skippy skip 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 skip. Infection. If you want to watch chapter seven, go <laughs> go watch my original stream of the game. Uh, crap. Where is it? Okay. Complete chapter seven. No way I'm getting back to sleep. Remedy distribution underway. Okay. Uh, we make a save here. And we read the spam anyway. Public notice. The worldwide distribution of R Pandavax is underway. Please read on for in patients who receive R Pandavax have a 96% chance of recovering, up from the 45% seen with. Right, I wish. R Pandavax rollouts are now taking place with med tents being. Symptomatic individuals should visit their nearest med tent as soon as possible for assessment. Uh, is this arson. actually our Pandavax treatment will be administered free of charge with identification requirements relaxed by emergency? Mallory! Mallory, it's real! Mallory, we have to go now! She Mallory? Mad. We both know I have it. My only hope is that it's not too late. That I haven't passed it to you. Because I want you to carry on with your life. Don't worry about me. I'm going back home to find out what happened to my sister. Whatever the answer is, I'm comforted okay. to know <clears throat> we'll see each other again soon. No, I would have stayed with you forever. But I'm thankful we had the time that we did. Love, Mallory. Okay. Damn it! Gotta go after her. Lead me to her. Headed back to the city. Okay. Now we make another save here. Okay. And we head for the highway. Please, 
there's anyone out there. Okay. A car. Shut up! That's not a Tendling's glaring. Stop! Please! Oh my god, what happened to you? I'm trying to get to the city. Please, I'm hurt, and she's... Get in. I'll take you to the hospital. Okay. We're gonna ride to the hospital. Okay, blah blah blah. I don't really care that much about the city. I'm looking for a girl. Her name is Mallory. Her hair is long and white. She's wearing purple. If you are awaiting preventative care, we ask that you remain patient while we triage symptomatic individuals. If you are currently experiencing symptoms like fever, headache, fatigue, or dry coughing, or have recently been in... Do you okay. see a very sick girl dressed in purple? I'm sorry, no. Who is she? And have you been in close contact with this person? If she's not here, can you help me find her? Because she's really sick and I need to find her and bring her here. If you've been in contact with an infected individual, then the most important thing right now is for you to get assessed and admitted for treatment. You do understand how rapidly the virus proliferates. The sooner we can begin treatment, the better your chances will be. Please, follow me. We have to but make another no, scene. But no, I have to... Please. Right now, you are potentially shedding the virus in a public space. You need to enter the med tent. <clears throat> I will try to find out about your friend. Now, please. I need you to enter the med tent. <laughs> eh. Okay. Make a save. Uh, insist on getting help for her first. I can't stop until I find her. Please, there's no one here, but she's somewhere. And if I can just find her and get her back here in time. She had to be at the planetarium. Wait, don't go yet. A couple of people have been waiting to run closer. Take this. It's a satellite phone. We have a few of them for contacting other med centers. As soon as you find your friend, call us. If we know where you are, we might be able to send help. Thank you. Thank you. Each bag of me, trying to get my bearings to figure out which way to go. Planetarium was close to the river. <laughs> Hopefully, you don't see. Hold myself up to the roof. Where was she? Mallory! I'm... I'm here. Yay, she's not dead this time. Your letter. I found it, and I... I couldn't just let you go. You shouldn't be here. 
It's dangerous for you to be close to me. She saw her breath and pushed her to her. She just flew away. That doesn't matter to me now. I care about you too much. I... I love you, Mallory. <gasps> you dummy. I love you too. That's why I had to leave. Grab her. I don't have much time left. Maybe you're just a dream. No, Valerie, you don't understand. There's a treatment. There's a treatment, and it's right here in the city, and I love you. There's a cure? My sister wasn't home. Do you think maybe she managed to get the cure? Uh, I'm going to get you help! I'm calling right now, and someone's gonna come! What was it? Uh, we have to make a save. Another save. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and we choose the first one. Five 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 eighty four eighty four three twenty two. Someone's coming. Help is coming. It was selfish of me to stay with you. I should have known. No, no, don't start that. <clears throat> Tears washed across her face I'm instead. So sorry. You have absolutely nothing to apologize for. I was alone for so long, I forgot what it was like to live. And then you came into my world, and... Having you in my life has been the best thing to ever happen to me. And I cannot wait for us to go home and live happily ever after together. <sighs> Stay with me, Mallory. We're going to get you help. Everything's going to be okay. Everything could be okay. Please hurry. It's two weeks. Which carried her gently back from the brink of death. <clears throat> Discharged. We found our way back. First thing we do is check on the chickens. Only find that they had torn open their feed bags and they're so peaceful. They were very fat and very happy to see us. Ah, uh, make note of any issues we need to deal with. A little too long. It must be that order I placed for drone delivery. Get the first aid kit and the aspirin. It feels like a million years ago. To open a package. I have a gift for you. A gift? Really? Eee! What is it? Oh my goodness. It's... It's so pretty. It reminded me of you. Try it on. Okay. I love you. 
love you, Mallory. I love you too. <laughs> Feels good to say that when we're not in a life or death situation, am I right? What would you say if I asked you to spend this evening stargazing with me? I would say... I know the most perfect spot. Oh. I'll grab the some blankets. Spot. Meet me up there? Sure. The most perfect spot. It's a little too close to the solar panel, really, but... Heartfelt warming, so much joy, and endings, like a sunset or a flower. The very moment was exactly what made it so valuable. <gasps> the end. Oh, goodness. We did it. We got the good ending. And we lived happily ever after. The end. Ah, uh, all right. That was nice. Thank you so much for coming. Um, we'll be chilling. Uh, thing. Uh, boo -boo -doo -doo -doo. uh, yeah. Thank you so much for coming, chilling. Uh, enjoy a day without me. I will be back on Thursday. So until then, everybody, take care, stay safe, all that wonderful stuff. I'll see you guys then. Bye.